She's due anywhere from mid-June to mid-July. So we're getting close. Sini, she's one of the Botswana girls that we got four years ago. Uh, she was the first one Jackson has bred with and conceived with. Uh, right now, she's, because this is so secluded, she's not used to seeing a lot of these people and new people, so she's getting a little, you're seeing a little bit of attitude from her to try to get everybody to go away. She likes it nice and quiet out here. She's used to, there's a staff of four people that work out here with her daily. So she's mainly just used to those, those people being around her and dealing with her and bathing and doing all that stuff. So all the new addition just really kind of creates a frustration in her. We, if we can't get the elephants out, we want to be able to let them go out and exercise. So this offers them plenty of room to get out, move around, play in the sand. They've all been, these girls have both been out playing in the sand and enjoying it and exercising, which for the pregnant female is crucial, is exercise is the main thing that we have to look at that to keep her in shape to see that she has a healthy baby. Calves normally weigh between 200 and 250 pounds. For Sini, it's, we really want to keep that, that goal for the baby, so we've been kind of monitoring her food intake to see that she's not eating too much, allowing the baby to grow too much, so. It will be key after the baby's born that we would increase her protein because she, it's important that she produces milk for the calf, so we'll have to up her protein after the pregnancy. We don't do it too much before, but after we do because we want to make sure that she maintains that milk production because the babies will nurse for about a year and a half or two years.